Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 17 of our Astropolis Let's Play series, uh, where today we are popping ourselves into that nice fancy portal there uh, and heading off to Venus. And let me tell you, it's a uh, Venus is not not a uh, walk in the cake park. What did I just say? I don't even know. Uh, it ain't easy. All right. That's for sure. Let's get in there. Welcome back, my friends, to another wonderful day here in the world of the Andrade. Where today, well, we're continuing off where we left last episode, and we're trying to get ourselves uh, off to Venus uh, and explore a new world and see what in the world, well, the new world has in store for us. Uh, so in order to do so, we kind of started last episode, but we ran out of those bad boys, the redstone shards. So I've been sitting here AFKing for a while. Uh, so let's see what happens. Now, notice it does say zero in there. I disconnected it from our drawer system, which means that it can't put the things in. So if we pop in here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's only been maybe about three hours, but look at all of that. Oh, yeah. We should have plenty of redstone shards for this more than enough for what we need uh so what i'm gonna do is actually go ahead and fly ourselves on up here craft what we need and then put the rest back because i'd rather have the raw redstone right now i know eventually i'm gonna need the star the shards but eventually we'll see our pathway once you know we get later into the pack uh for like making things and, and, and the stuff and the things. Uh, so what I need to do is I need 40 of these. Um, so that was a stack and a half. So really the rest of this all needs to go back into the system. I'm going to put it in here for now because I don't want um, AE2. I don't want our system to try and craft, uh, well, craft them. So let's go ahead and get the red sand and that should be able to get us 40 of those. Now I can get 10 more of these and i should be able to get 10 of these one two three four five six five what do i run out of how what 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 where i swear i made some of these didn't i red sand Mining portal. I made 40 of the mining portal frames, which should have got me 10. Where, 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 pray art thou? You guys saw them last episode. They were in there. Where did they go? Did I make what I made? The portal frames are there. We go. Man, there's me freaking out. I'm like, where is my darn portal frames? Uh, turns out I had them all along. The portal frames are our friends. Uh, they've been with us all along. They're the friends we made along the way. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to place this over here and we're going to have our portal to Venus. Now we are going to eventually have other portals, uh, basically one more. We're going to have another to the moon, other to the Mars, to the Mars. Uh, so we'll see where we end up placing those ultimately, but we're just going to mirror this. So I had two of these portals here. And then doot doot. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I only needed eight. Oh, wait, no, duh. But there's the two on the floor. Uh, and then if I grab my space core, we can go ahead and boop, ignite the portal to Venus. Ooh, it's, it's orange like the other portals. Ooh. So the portal frame determines the color of the actual portal itself. Uh, let's go ahead and pop up top and see if I need to drop anything off um, or pick anything up. Is there I'd like this to automatically clear on close. Uh, don't remember last search. Yeah, don't I don't need you to have last search. That's fine. And then I do like clicking up here to have to type. If you have it set to autofocus on here, it is fine so that you can immediately start typing. The problem becomes then that you if you want to like hit R on a recipe, it will be auto focused here so you just start typing r so you have to click off of it and then hit r it's not that big of a deal but my brain just works this way better um let's see so we got our portal and basically we just need to go on in there uh sword wise i really we don't really have many other options for swords right now diamond sword is really the next step um because certus quartz is six a fluix though the fluix sword does always have looting one um, we can make that by making a nether quartz sword and a fluix block. I can make that happen. And then I need a fluix block. I should either have those or have the ability to make those. 
got looting. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to turn down free looting. Um, that and that gets me Fluic Sword, which has looting one. And it's a little bit more damage, TBH. So uh, we'll go ahead and put that in there. Also, let's go ahead and dump that junk where it belongs, which is over here. And hook the redstone drawer back up, actually, uh, before I forget. And then I end up with a massive back stuff again. Uh, so I need my linking tool and I need this to be on add. We can add that back. And then if I go here, grab all this stuff, put this guy away, I can doo -doo, put that back in. Look, there's 700 of them went in there. OK, uh, what else did we need? I want to make some more pickaxes, of course. I only have one pickaxe. Let's look up what kind of pickaxes we have. Is there a Fluix pickaxe? Has fortune. Well, I mean, why not? Like it's the same recipe. I can make a couple of these. Um, Certus Quartz pickaxe, probably Certus Quartz, Nether Quartz, I'm going to assume, yeah, is going to be the play here. So Nether pick, I don't know what the durability on this thing is going to be. Uh, now this does require just sticks, but I am out of sticks. Give me some sticks. Do I have a recipe for sticks? Interesting. Uh, it doesn't let me do planks. Oh, there we go. There's planks, but I do have logs, so we can just do... Give me a recipe for sticks. I do like this. Two logs make 16 sticks. Bam. 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 Now we got plenty of sticks. Now I can make a couple of these. So let's do one, two, three, four. Four nether quartz pickaxes. Are they the same tier as a iron pickaxe? I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, and then I'm going to need fluix blocks and I'm going to need four of those. We're going to need more fluix cl crystals soon. I'm going to assume we're going to have a way to automate those, though, at some point. Oh, you know what? And let's automate this. I've never automated the smithing table before. Interesting that it wants an axe to break this. You think a smithing table would be a pickaxe, but that's fine. We'll just do it here because I don't really have uh, cabling, you know, ready to go anywhere else. But we can automate this by doing um, something along the lines of this. And then if we got that pattern provider that we've been sitting with. Um, no, interface. Yeah, interface. If we do an interface. No, it is a pattern provider, isn't it? Just like we had here. But I have to have it over here. Oh, can I make that? Pattern provider. I'd be missing just crafting tables. There we go. And then I can put all those away and I can convert this over so that it, ha it accesses this inventory. Bam. And then all I got to do is get a cable out of here. Bam. Now this should be online and then we have a pattern. OK, so now if we come over here and we click smithing table patterns, we can say, hey, Mr. Smithing table, I want to make this. So give me that. And same thing. If I hold shift, it does show me my pattern. Good. If I put this in here. um, Theoretically, it should let me craft a Fluix pickaxe or four. Start. Okay. Um, yes and no. Interesting. Where? Pray for art thou my pickaxes now. Because it didn't, it did not put them in here. I do have my uh, CPUs down here. I want, I need to know, what I need to know is I need the crafting monitor so I can see what is jammed up. Okay, learn some things. Uh, so this crafting monitor, uh, well, wherever I had it in here, what it does is it allows you, I can attach it here to our crafter or our CPU, and I can see what that specific CPU is processing. Not super duper helpful. Turns out there's a button here, crafting status, where I can actually see what is being crafted at that moment. Um, I, I don't quite know why, though, this is not wanting to work with the smithing table pattern. It is set as 
you know, a smithing table pattern. So it should be able to put the items in there. As far as I know, like, I I don't know what else it could like. Is this not the correct block for this? Then is it actually an interface? I don't I don't believe so, though. Like, I believe an interface is just in item input, item output, right? Yeah. Crafting card can go in there. It's just like a uh, like a uh, import bus or well I interface in regular or in refined storage. So this theoretically should be working. Why? I don't know. Unless it has sidedness and this has to be a specific way. OK, well, taking too long. I need to look up how that actually would work. Um, let's just make these so we can get to the nether uh, or well to Venus and see what in the world Venus has to hold for us. So let's do that, that, that and that. And now we have at least fortune one on all of these. Uh, this pickaxe, really, we can just get rid of. I'm going to assume since it's the same damage that this has the same um what's it called the same uh pickaxe level there and then this can go here this can go here and then yeah okay cool so we have deep slate bricks for building as needed we do have a jet we have jet boots or rocket boots apologies uh so we have rocket boots so that we can fly around i do not need an interface on me right at the moment um and i think that's everything that we're going to need the only thing that would be potentially a problem is if we die but let's just not die let's avoid death and then we won't have to worry about it right i mean I'm, I'm i'm a fan of that solution just don't die and we'll be fine all right so let's go watch me die immediately i wonder if venus is going to be like the nether well it's very dark on venus it's also oh i'm like uh okay all right so venus uh is very nethery uh, we also do have mobs now, so we have Endermen chilling out over there, so we do want to avoid that. We have blazes all over the place. Maybe it would be prudential for us to get a um, bow and arrow and maybe a shield. Since we do have mobs now floating around that are something to contend with, uh, let's take a look at a shield. Is there a Fluix shield? Uh, heavy plated shield would be some steel plates and a regular shield. I'm just going to assume that's just stronger, and a steel shield is just a steel shield uh so let's get that do i want a heavy plated shield or do i want like what's the difference here um i guess i could just get a mechanism shield plus it gives me an achievement though it it did but didn't advancement made okay so we got a steel shield has higher durability that's why i grabbed that uh let's also just look at a bow and maybe arrows so i don't think i'm gonna be able to make feathers or feathers. I don't think I'm going to be able to make arrows because I don't have feathers. Unless there's an alternative recipe. Oh, I can just make feathers. Okay, let's do that then. Oh, and we can make them spectral arrows. Spectral arrows, they fly true, right? They don't they don't have any drop off, if I remember correctly. I mean, I have glowstone, so uh, we need string. Can we make string? Yeah, we should be able to. We have tons of flux. Industrial hemp fiber. Uh, so let's do that, and then that. Let's make a bow. Now we have a bow, and then let's make um, arrows. Let's just grab ourselves. Oh, well, we need to make feathers first. And make as many arrows as we can. And then make spectral arrows. Sure. Do they do more damage? That'd be really nice if they did. Okay, there we go. And for every one, we got two. So we have spectral arrows now. We have a bow. Let's put our axe over here, though the axe is pretty darn good damage. Is there a special kind of axe? Is there a fluix axe? There is a fluix axe, which is 9.4. That also does more damage. Mm, I'm okay right now. All right. That's a little bit better. I don't know what spectral arrows are. I'm pretty sure they do fly true, so they don't have any drop off. So we should be okay. I could be completely wrong about that, and it could be putting myself up for death by just walking in here with spectral arrows instead of regular arrows but uh we'll see what happens shields up and bows we go so let's find out oh okay i guess i i triggered the enderman and they are not happy with me i didn't trigger that enderman i'm pretty sure the uh i'm gonna die oh okay i'm pretty sure it was the uh blazes that did that 
I did not look at the Enderman that I can recall. Maybe, maybe it's my, maybe I should like look down. This is dangerous. This, this, this land here, Venus is not a, not a very friendly planet for us to be on. I need to build a like structure around our, um, base here. Let's get, I don't have any wands. I used all my wands. I was going to say, let me, I need to get, um, something so I can not have to worry about these Endermen. They're still going to be there and they're still going to be aggressive. Okay. Uh, let's go up one more, actually. Hey, gravity's in my favor here. So if I do this, the Endermen won't be able to hit me, at least. So when I come through the portal, I'm safe from the Endermen. And now I can actually... Come on over. The Blazes can hit me through the portal, though. And this Enderman, it would be great if he could come on over here. Get over here. Why are you going on that side? Why are y'all messing with me like that? That blaze is driving me crazy. Can I get him? I got him. Oh, you know what's happening with the Enderman? They're going into my base. Oh, they're going through the portal. Oh, great. When I go home, I'm going to have angry Endermen to deal with. Okay, well, this solves that problem. Now the Endermen shouldn't be able to go into my portal. Oh, goodness, that's what was going on. I'm like, where are these Endermen going? Mm, they're trying to get me from the other side of the portal. Also, got to watch out for that baby Enderman, because he will not be stopped by this. All right. Blaze rods? Yes? No? Maybe? Hey, blaze rods. That's what I was here for. Okay, so we got blaze rods. Watch out for the baby Enderman. We don't want to look at them. Do want to smack you a couple times. Having my shield out with my bow is kind of pointless, but that's okay. All right, so Venus is dangerous, that's for sure. Let's look at that Enderman. Now we can get some Ender Pearls, though, which is what I want. I don't know what caught me on fire there, but I'm going to die. Ah, well, that's okay. Luckily, our grave is right by our portal. There must be... Oh, um, this is kind of... Okay, I'm a ghost, though, so I'm okay. Let's go to the portal. Look, there's those Endermen. Oh, goodness. I'm a ghost, so I'm not actually taking damage. I can't die. And now I can put that on, and I'm back to life. Okay. All right. Enderman, come here. I can make an Enderman spawner. Oh, those blazes. Man, they're shooting me from miles away. Driving me crazy. You know what? You're here. I'll go ahead and just take you out. Even if I die, I'm home. Okay. You're dead. Whew, two Ender Pearls acquired, too. I need to get the uh, food, food orator, because I'm not doing too good at eating. Also, I would love to know where that other Enderman just went to before I accidentally look at him and then he kills me later. Well, he just despawned, it looks like. Or he teleported down to one of those other things down there. Okay, so dangerous that's for darn sure this is not a not a good place for us to be however if we start going underground i think we will be okay so let's check out this ravine first things first we got a bunch of blackstone here uh and that uh, completed the quest too as far as i know if we dig down i need to avoid lava but we will find ore and um Oh, out of food. See? I need food. Also, I need to get more food cooking because I don't think I have any more potatoes. Uh, let's fix up this mess that we got going on here. Okay, so what went where? Death stone. Oh, return to your latest death point. That's kind of nice. Uh, food was here. Backpack. Uh, home stone. You're here. 
deep slate, and then yeah, and then there's the pickaxe. Okay. And then I should have this one. I should probably not use these pickaxes for this mining. That would probably be a uh, great decision to go get regular iron pickaxes so that I don't have to uh, remove the death point. There we go. Yeah, if I had iron pickaxes, that would be better. Let's see what we're looking for. Okay, so we're on Venus, right? We're here on Venus. We are looking for diamond collected from ores on Venus. And if we take a look at our world gen, it is generated uh, on Y level zero, uh, really Y level negative 64. Uh, it's probably a good idea for me to turn my mini map on here now, uh, which I do by going here and here and enabling the minimap. So I am at Y level 38. So I do have a significant way to dig down. Instead of digging down like that, let's dig down like that. And then there we go. Oh, look, look what we found. A, we found lava and B, we found some diamonds. Look at that, bam, didn't even have to do much work. Let's shapeless mine this. Oh, 12 blocks of diamonds too, darn. That's a good amount. Um, I would like to like go down here, but like very carefully go down here. Oh, a cave, a ravine. Maybe there's some more ore down there, but we can't, we don't have any other way to get lava until we get down here. So what I'd like to do is do that. Then I can build like a staircase down that, down to that lava. And by staircase, I mean, oh goodness, that. Um, let's eat as we die. Okay, so I thought it was only going to be at that Y level. No, that is not correct. That's why I did that and just dug straight down. Okay. I do have a bucket on me. We can grab some lava. At least uh, shield off. Lava, lava. Dangerous. Okay. Lava, lava, lava. There we go. All right, I got a bucket of lava. Good. So we got part of what we came here for, but I also want to go back up into this cave that we found and see what's in here. So what are we looking for here? All right, so we're looking for diamond. We're looking for osmium. Uh, and remember, we can make the production recipe things for this. So like uh, the crystals. So we're good to go. We're looking for uranium and we're looking for emeralds. Okay. So if we look at raw osmium, I can't click on it. Uh, this I can. This is going to be at Y level negative 48. Which is going to be hard to get to because there's lava there. Just saying there, buddy. Maybe it doesn't mean negative 48. Maybe it means 48 because there's something here. Yeah, look, there's emerald ore. There's diamond ore. Oh, there's a blaze. Let's go ahead and eat. That looks like uh, some kind of ore. Where am I getting shot from so I can take him out? And then I can put the fire out. Okay. Okay. What I would really like is a magnet. Like, I need a magnet in a bad way. Okay, there's some more diamond ore. What's this? Redstone? Debris. Oh, okay. So there's ancient debris. That was convenient. Because remember, we can make uh, these budding debris, uranium, emeralds. So I just need to get enough to be able to do that. Uh, that looks like the red sandstone. Haha. <laughs> you know, it was so hard for us to make. Oh, let's not leave all this debris. Inventory is full. Blackstone, get out of here. I don't need you. There's. Oh, and I haven't even picked up the emeralds because my blackstone is so full. Okay. 12 blocks of uh, uranium. And then only need osmium. Yeah, osmium is the only thing that's missing. Uh, I'd like to figure out a way that we can automate blaze rods. That would be great. If I have to, I basically it looks like I'm going to be setting up some sort of mob farm here to slay these enemies. 
Um, but what I'm looking for now is Osmium. It's the only thing. And that's kind of really the biggest thing that I'm here for because that's going to be my bottleneck to getting into um, Mechanism. So I really want to get Osmium. And I'm going to assume that that there is Osmium. I'm getting shot. Die before you fire again. I dodged it. I'd like your blaze rod, please. No blaze rod from you. All right. Oh, and I lost all my experience, too, when I died, didn't I? Bummer. Not that I had, like, a whole lot, but... Osmium? Osmium. All right, and then, bam. Osmium ore. And that's... There's more debris there. I might as well grab it. I don't know what, like, what the cost of it's going to be, so... Oh. What I don't want is that debris to fall in the lava. I'd like to pick it up first. Okay. There's that. These are quite large veins of all this ore, too. And then, look, there's a whole lava pit here. I wonder if I can utilize this lava pit somehow for power. So, really, what I'm working towards is getting... Um, getting into mechanisms uh ethylene generator that's kind of what i'm sort of rushing to which is why i really wanted to get the osmium okay so budding debris is going to be made with four debris i have that osmium is going to be four osmium ingots i'll have that uh uraniums four uranium ingots four emeralds four diamond and that's it like we have all of those resources uh ready to be auto generated for us so what else does venus hold for us then uh other than ender pearls, like really, that seems to be the only other other thing. Uh, resource duplicator allows me to duplicate ender pearls. There's also the loot fabricator um, from hostile neural networks. I wonder, though, this requires a lot of power. Hostile neural networks is uh, power hungry. We do have two ender pearls now, though. We could get into hostile neural networks. Um, because we have Endermen out there and Blazes. That would allow me to get Blazes. We also want to look into... I'm going to assume... Is there a... Yeah, that's power, power. Yeah, there's no quest chain for neural networks. Um, but... We have two options. You have the resource duplicator, uh, which is going to allow... It's elite ore. Where do I find elite ore now? Um... Elite mob essence gets turned in, and I need an essence converter, which requires... Okay, so I really need to farm some mobs first before I can really get into any of this. Uh, basic ore essence is going to come from deep slate essence ore or regular essence ore, neither of which have a uh, recipe, so I don't know where those would be found. Okay, well, it's another another option that's duplicating... Uh, like ender pearls and stuff like that which is great um but basically i think that's everything that we're going to need from here for now uh so what that means is well we got some rewards that we want to open up first but we can go ahead and dump all this excess stuff into here uh blackstone i probably should go put into a drawer and really diamonds are going to go into a drawer all that stuff that i just put in there diamonds emeralds are going to go into a drawer um now ancient debris is that what is made in the or is it actually just make straight netherite like what's the usage of budding debris you make debris clusters which get broken into debris shards which then turn into netherite scrap directly so i don't even need to worry about this so this doesn't need to go in there really i just need the four for the uh, thing and then the rest of this i can just uh process like normally by smelting it up into netherite scrap right uh, arc furnace turns it into two. Let's just go do that. We'll throw this extra right into the arc furnace now. Because I just need the four to make this one, and then from there we're good to go. Oh, wow, that took all of my power. And I don't think... Eh, well, it is going to go. It's very, very slow, but it'll work. Okay, so that's arc furnacing that. Um, anything else here? Like, I don't think so. Okay. So let's open up these rewards that we got, and then we can go ahead and we'll make all of our um, stuff. Uh, I'll put these before I do. I'm going to forget, and I'm going to end up shoving these back into the system. So let's go ahead and put these emeralds and the um, diamonds over here, and I'm going to finally, hopefully, unlock this drawer. Bam. 
let's offhand this, bam. And then I can put the emeralds in here, and then that'll allow blocks of emeralds in there, which hopefully will stop that drawer from getting put back as copper upgrades since I accidentally put that in there, and it keeps remembering that that's what that is. Okay, so now diamonds and stuff are in there. That's good. And I think that's everything that would end up being needed to go in there. Yeah, okay. All right, you go there, you go there. Uh, lava bucket. Sure, we'll put that in there for now. And then let's open up these rewards. What, what in the world are these rewards? I don't even know. Am I even doing anything? Oh, look, we got books. Uh, tombstone Soulbound preserves item on death. Tombstone Soulbound, Tombstone Soulbound, Tombstone Soulbound. So does that Tombstone Soulbound, what does that mean? Does that preserves the item on death? Does that bind it to me or what? I also know Corail has like a uh, gravestone thing. Um, and it'll allow you to like use your key to auto teleport, right? That requires essence of undeath, which doesn't have a recipe. These are all just fancier gravestones and onk of prayer. You have to get grave dust for that, but neither of which I have. So, uh, basic loot box gave me some cobble and some dirt. Yay. All right. So cobble. We can put that away, we can put that away, that away, that away, that away. Spectral arrows can go into my backpack, uh, and my bow can go in there now, because I'm not planning on going back to Venus for a little while. My death stone, it is handy to have, so we can kind of sort of put that there. Uh, we'll unlock the wallet, mainly because I like the, you know, it's round and that's flat. Round, round, round. I would don't want that flat one there, you know, messing up my my aesthetics for my backpack. Uh, and you can go back there and you can go there. And I think that's going to be it for today's episode. So in between episodes, I'm going to work on getting ourselves these, uh, the budding debris, the osmium, the uranium, the emerald, the diamond. Uh, we don't need this on here. We don't need this on here anymore. And then I will see what happens next episode. I, my next big goal, like I said, is really to start getting myself into mechanism. And that's where this is leading me is getting into the infuser, steel casings. I do want to put on my to-do list and it was mentioned in the comments um, that I can automate the in inscribers down below with laser IO. Never used it before. Um, it's by Direwolf, Direwolf 20. If you don't know who Direwolf is, then uh, well, go watch Direwolf. He's like the, the OG with modded Minecraft um, and where I've heard, learned a lot of stuff from but laser io can automate that never used it before so i'd like to i also want to get into xnet for automating a lot of the stuff with um mechanism and uh you do my general setup that i have there if you've ever seen my playthroughs before you know how that works uh advanced connectors require ender pearls and diamonds maybe i'll go farm up some endermen um what's my best resource here to use for this all of this I need just advanced connector. Yeah, blue connectors. Usually I use blue connectors because they're the cheapest for getting the dye. So I'll add advanced blue connectors here. Not red. Um, and then let's add... That way I know what to work on in between episodes here. Uh, Ender pearls. I'll get some more blaze rods too, I guess. Um, thank goodness these have looting. It helps. And then... Uh, gas burning generator is going to go on to our to-do list but we're not going to be able to get it for a little while we need to really get into a little bit deeper in the mechanism but that's okay because we will be there very soon uh, so if you enjoyed our exploration of venus today please uh feel free to like uh like the video like comment subscribe what is my what is my general spiel i can't even remember uh yeah if you like today's video please like comment subscribe i do appreciate it it really does help out the channel thanks for stopping by thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one have a good one